inside every 2012 Honda Civic Si lives the spirit of a race car. The 2012 Honda Civic Si is an incredible vehicle. It takes very little to turn it from your everyday streetcar into a car that's capable of winning a professional race. Ryan Eversley, first time in a World Challenge event, on his way to the win in the touring car category. World Challenge is one of the top competitive pro racing series in the, in the United States, and it takes manufacturers from all over the world and puts them up against each other. And the touring car class is probably the most realistic car that you'll see out there on track because it's very similar to what you drive every day. As you can see by the, the Honda Civic Si, it's a great street car, but it's also a great race car. And it doesn't take much to turn the street car into the race car. That's why it identifies so well with the fans because they can look on the track, see the Honda Civic Si and say, hey, that's what I drive every day. And it relates to the fans quite a bit. To show how simple the transformation from a car straight off the dealership floor to a car ready to race in the Pirelli World Challenge or Grand Am, Team Compass 360 Racing documents the process. When the car first came in here, first thing we wanted to do was pull out the engine. From there, we basically start dissecting the car. The crew continues the disassembly of the car and separates parts into what will be reused or discarded. All the body panels are reused. Uh, there are, uh, for example, fog lights, uh, that sort of stuff that we remove because uh, we use those areas for uh, brake ducts. So there are also some weight savings as well as just to clean up the car, make it a little bit more aero and make it more appealing and looking nice. These are more of the engine parts, uh, radiator, alternator, starter, uh, shifter cables, drive shafts, all that stuff uh, has to be reused. We don't use a lot of the accessories that are in the car, for example, the car stereo, um, air conditioning, that sort of stuff. So that's all removed for weight saving as well as cleans up the car a little nicer. These are some of the interior parts that we've removed door panels, rear seats, front seats, uh, all that stuff is removed uh, when we're building the new car. From there, we start removing all the suspension components and uh, there's new bushings um, that we uh, install into the OEM uh, suspension components. As you can see, we've pretty much stripped uh, most of the parts out of the car. There's one more big harness that we gotta take out from uh, the front of the firewall here and it's pretty much done. Once all the parts are removed, the Civic is taken to another shop where a roll cage is welded to the inside of the frame to help further protect the driver in case of an incident during a race. Once the roll cage has been completed, the body and frame have been sprayed with a coat of paint. The car is transported back to the shop where the Compass 360 crew begins reinstalling the components back onto the car as well as parts that Honda Performance Development have engineered specifically for the 2012 Honda Civic Si. A new HPD racing engine replaces the standard 201 horsepower 2.4i VTEC engine. The horsepower is increased on our race engine versus the street engine by a good 25% or, or more. Um, that's because of intake and exhaust and some other changes that we've made in, in higher flowing cylinder head and those type of things. Along with the new engine, HPD has engineered a new engine exhaust manifold. The HPD exhaust manifold for, for racing has a much higher exhaust flow, so it helps, helps get the, uh, the exhaust out of the engine faster, which then increases the horsepower. Other new enhancements have been developed with the same goal of improving the performance of the Civic Si, with emphasis on creating a more direct movement of the entire car. One of the things we're looking for when we design some of our parts is a direct action of the input of the driver to the output, which is, translates to the performance of the car on the track. So we've done that with our bushings, which we use a Delrin plastic, uh, eliminates the rubber in the suspension bushings. And on the engine mount side, we use a polyurethane plastic, which also eliminates movement in the engine. So when the driver shifts, changes gears, you get direct action right to the track. The Honda Performance Development engineered front camber caster plates have been designed to allow for adjustments when setting up the handling for a race. On a stock car, you don't have adjustments for camber, which is the tilting in or out of the, of the wheels, or caster, which is the fore and aft tilt of the strut. So HPD, we've designed those parts for racing that allow that adjustability for the suspension to maximize the cornering grip. For the production car racing series that the Civic Si runs in. HPD's designed 
specific needs series, a racing brake rotor that's a, a two-piece rotor. So a traditional rotor is a single-piece cast. That's what comes on your street car. For racing, we have two-piece rotors, which allow some, some flex in the system, but also improve cooling and reduce weight. The rotors themselves have veining in them that are directional, which help the, air, the hot air evacuate and cool the brake rotor itself. All of these enhancements are available exclusively through Honda Performance Development and HondaRacing.com forward slash HPD. What separates HPD from other manufacturers is you have a team of very smart people that are also very racing oriented and their goal is to take the racing technology and apply it to the street technology. And that's something that you can see when you look at their race cars and their street cars. The parts that they, that they provide are not only very user friendly, but they're also very helpful to a performance side of it. Once all the parts have been reinstalled on the car, a test is scheduled to make sure everything runs smoothly. After everything checks out with the test, the Civic is taken to be wrapped in its HPD theme delivery and is now ready for the green flag. Well, the reason Honda races is to push our production cars to the limit. You can only learn so much with what you do on the street and what you do on the test grounds. The racing just takes it to a whole nother level. We know we have a car that's competitive and we can, we can fight for the championship this year and that's something that you always look for as a driver and every time I've driven anything with HPD parts, it's been competitive. The quality and attention to detail on the HPD parts is invaluable. You can tell that when you drive the race car that HPD races to learn, innovate, and win. Whenever you decide to begin your professional racing career, be sure to choose Honda.